Hello and welcome to this video. Now in this video we're going to be looking at the Community Designs tab. Now in order to locate this tab you need to select Create Design, select the Fast AI Image Designer and to the top all the way to the right we have the tab Community Designs. Once you select this you will see a stream of images okay or essentially designs by all members of part of the platform. Now, you don't necessarily have to access this or, or even share your own designs as previously shown in personal design section. So if you had a design, you wanna keep it prob uh, private, you can, or if you wanna share it with the community that you know uh, it's something that you would love to provide more value and insight to the community, you can simply select, make it public. And just like that, it will be made public and within the stream. Now, the reason for having a tab like community designs is, it allows the community to share designs uh, and when I mean designs of all different niches, categories, there are people from all around the world that have different hobbies, interests and design requirements. Now the amazing thing about having a, a tab like this, it's like a mastermind, like brainstorming. There may be graphics and designs that are congruent with your own industry or niche or maybe a niche or industry you never thought of. It allows you to come and see what others are doing and see the advanced possibilities that are what's possible when it comes to artistically. I mean, just looking at this image here, we have a, a silhouette of this um, individual here and you can see embedded in um, the body of uh, the lady to the left side is another image laid within an image. Now, the amazing thing with something like this is that you can download it and just imagine if you wanted to recreate something like this, you can use Mirror Magic. Okay, by simply taking the image, you can actually use it in Mirror Magic or something like this. We can take the prompt itself instead of asking the person because it's shared in the community designs and you can recreate your own version of said image uh, that you see in this section. And there's some really beautiful images here. You can just see the different levels of what's being created. And what's more important is that you will see that when it comes to the design prompt, you can see what people are specifically entering in this section that will give you ideas to sculpt similar style images that you may not be uh, able to get on your first uh, go. So it just shows you how people are changing the prompts and it'll give you that inspiration and feedback, how you can further enhance and get the best prompts possible. Okay, so you can model what's already working and just take great examples from other individuals. And as we scroll down, and if there's anything that may be a little bit untoward, you can always report designs. However, there is a good fail-safe filtering system that kind of captures um, any kind of uh, images that may not be suitable. However, you can just see so many beautiful designs. I mean, just the level of graphics here, perfect text image fixed design. You can see here's the prompt that they use and we can repurpose that. And that's clearly something perfect for a t-shirt design. So that's someone that's trying to create designs for t-shirts. And you can see somebody's here um, creating a thumbnail okay for a YouTube channel and here you can see it's likely somebody's creating these images here for a children's um, they may be using this with talking photos at AI where they want to create that into you know a story video okay you got one uh, to ten okay so you've got coloring books here some really advanced level images so it just shows you the capabilities um, especially just the level of inspiration you can see just from using something like this for education here and you can see you know seamless pattern designs I would imagine that's what they're trying to create or maybe for wallpaper so these can also be used with a print uh, on design print on design as well and here we have something probably six nine by sixteen for mobile okay maybe youtube as well uh, not youtube instagram etc etc or youtube shorts uh, and here we have here there's an image of a dog probably um for x-rays okay so that's essentially the understanding of community designs and it's a powerful place where you can come take inspiration from um and it does work in conjunction with personal designs if you do want to uh, make things public or private you can do so but the default position is always going to be with community design the, the images you create are private until you allow them to be public that's completely up to you um, but you'll see a whole array of different designs made public by other members so that's completely up to you and that's the purpose behind the community designs tab